<laughs> Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading, your morning inspo. I do have a download for you today. And the download is the chariot energy. It's you riding off into the sunset. It's you getting some type of victory. It's also some type of this love of work. Taking pride in what it is that you do because you love what you do. And you've been very, very prideful of your work. Whatever work it is that you do, um, you're really, really proud of it. And also, something is a success. It's given like you've made it type of energy. Like you've made it to this You've made it this far or you made it so far or you made it to this point. There's also a celebration. Celebratory energy. All right. So let's get right into this reading. Please only take what resonates and leave what does not. This reading is for Libra Sun Moon Rising. Any Libra placements really. We just get in this Libra energy. Also, if you're new here, I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let's see. <clears throat> what is in the blessing bag for Libra today? Victorious Libra. It's like... Libra the champion. That's what I'm getting. You got Akashic records are open to you. So you have access to the Akashic records. You're also the center of attention or you have access to some type of information that is going to bring you to the center of attention. Also, you're going to be finding some type of unexpected money, um, gaining unexpected money somewhere. So this energy is going to be really big for you. All right, Akashic Records open. Make sure you meditate. Make sure you tune in today. You might find some information that unlocks something for you. It's been a real like money, like money reading, like money grab. It's been like this real big. Also, I'm getting like a, this uh, vision of this like prominent family. You got the railroad. A long journey. Getting this energy of this really, really wealthy and successful uh, family. Or this could definitely be like generational wealth or something like that. <clears throat> For some of you guys, you could be finding out that a long journey or something that, that took a lot of time. It wasn't as good as it as as it was cracked up to be. You could feel like somebody over embellished or over exaggerated some type of details, but once you get there and you're like, mm. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what a person. It's not what you expected. That's what I'm getting. Like something's not bad, but it's not what you expected. I feel like you were expecting to see something big or see something I don't know something is just not what you're expecting it was like you were expecting something to be bigger you took some long journey I do feel like you could have traveled a long way and you expected something to be a little better than that. Yeah, you do have the Ten of Wands. <clears throat> there could be some stress about this. You could be stressed out about this. Like you traveled long or you did something that took a lot of time and it's not what you are expecting when you get to the end. There is wish fulfillment here. So I feel like looks could be deceiving. 
Like something is not what you expected or some road or something, a long journey or maybe a detour was not what you expected. And I do feel like that there could be um, frustration by how long something took or how long a journey was. But there is a lot of wish fulfillment here. It's wish fulfillment. There's peace. There's relief. There's financial security. <clears throat> so I'm getting like looks could definitely be deceiving. All right, let's see what frequency we are vibing on. Somebody may have to travel long. Travel a long way. We have compassion here. The energy of compassion. It says the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our hearts and into the world. Um, a divine mediator. Someone is a divine mediator. Through someone's using their compassion to be a divine mediator. This could be hard work for you. <clears throat> Something could be really, really hard. Like hard work. We do have divine feminine energy. We do have authority energy. I do feel like something playing the mediator could be stressful. I feel like a person may not think that playing some type of mediator could be as stressful as it is. But it is stressful to you. Okay, let's get into this reading, Libra. All right, let's see. What is coming through? Oh, first thing I open up is the door to value and the woman holding the heart. I feel like for some of you guys going for what it is that you love, it brings you to this door of value, doing what you love. Making sure you love what you do. Um, making sure what it is that you do brings you joy and peace and happiness. And like you want you want to be able to get paid and be able to um, have a successful life and live a luxurious life doing something that you absolutely love doing. Because you'll dive into it more. You won't stray away from it. Like people ask me, like, how are you able to record all the time? And da, 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 da. I love doing this. Like, this is something I really love to do. Um, like, really. So it's nothing. It's actually <laughs> helpful for me and like a stress reliever for me to, to dive in and do what it is that I need to do. And helping you guys is a plus. It definitely is a plus. So... Someone is finding that door to value. Um, multiple um, waves, multiple avenues are coming towards you. All right, let's see. I do what I love. I love what I do. And that leads you to the victory. That leads you to your chariot. That leads you to the finish line. Let's see. Where's Libra's current energy? I'm using the energy oracle cards. <clears throat> oh, you're, you're the healer of all ages. <laughs> all right. So Libra's in her healing energy. Libra's in the healing energy. You're healing hearts all around. Okay. Also, you could be healing yourself, your love dynamic in your relationships. I do feel like you could be healing like hearts, just healing people's hearts. You do have the door to romance. Um there is a person there's a person who has some type of envy towards some type of energy that you have and i did do a monthly if you didn't see the monthly for june 2024 um it was like you got it from your mama it's this type of energy that you got that was passed down um it's the art of abundance Abundance is a state of being and you have this naturally. 
Um, so you do look at the world in a state of more so abundance instead of a state of lack, if that makes sense. And this is just your life energy. And there could be a person who is envious of this life energy or envious of some type of um, healing energy that it is that you have. Um, I do also believe that you have the power through you or um, something that's moving through you to kind of heal a person who could be dealing with like envious thoughts and things like that and not being able to process those very natural emotions in a constructive way. Okay. <clears throat> so you're a healer right now. You do have a lot of healing information that you want to show, share for people or share, give to the world. Let's see what's going on with Libra on the spiritual plane. There's a strategy. Again, you might want to meditate today. Because Akashic Records are open. So there's a strategy being laid out. Also, the Angel of Love is here. So I do feel like there could be some type of repairing with your relationships. Also, Venus. Um, right now, Venus is, is aligned with the Sun and Taurus. Um, so a lot of love energy. There's a lot of power with love today. You are getting some type of strategy on how to get to some type of uh, temple. And the temple is definitely peace. Peace, contentment. This could also be solitude, but most likely it's peace. I feel like you could find peace through your close relationships. Um, most likely romantic relationships, um, intimate relationships. What's going on with Libra on this physical yeah, this third chakra. Here's this energy that you have. And on the physical plane, there is a person who is like envying a connection that you have, a caring connection. <coughs> Somebody could be upset that you could be showing somebody more attention than them. Somebody could also be upset that a person is showing you um, a lot of attention here. It's coming up twice, too, in your energy. You're able to heal something, though. You do have a lot of protection surrounding you. Um, but you're able to heal something though, either heal yourself or heal this person. I feel like you have like healing light surrounding you. You might be glowing or you might start glowing. What message do we have for Libra and love? And love, there's a contract. Oh, so there's about to be a deeper commitment. There's a man that's thinking about a deeper commitment with you. <clears throat> Somebody is thinking about tying you down, okay? Somebody is thinking about tying the knot. Look all tied up. They get envisions of, of tying the knot, of becoming married. Definitely want some type of deeper commitment that's coming in. Somebody is thinking about tying a knot with you, making something real, have, establishing a deeper connection. Make sure you read this contract, okay? <laughs> Make sure you read the dotted lines. Make sure you ask, like, what is this commitment? But I feel like you're being presented with this contract here. What's going on with Libra in career, business, and finances? All right, you have anxiety, anxious energy with the magician in the mirror and the thinking man. So this con so 
this person wanting this deeper commitment with you and love it has you looking at fine okay so you do have this door to value so i feel like maybe there's a person who could possibly have a lot of money or something like that I feel like you're anxious instead of you having like one of your like anxiety um, moments. But I just feel like you're just anxious. You could be thinking about this all the time. Um, I do feel like there could be a very, very uh, wealthy person. I do feel like somebody could be real wealthy or maybe you could be doing something with someone. Maybe doing something business-wise. Something's leading you to the door of value. What does Libra need to be on the lookout for today? The first chakra. Archangel Michael. Security. Understanding that you are secure. The door to personal happiness and healing is open for you. Here is this victory here. There's a certain path that you take that's going to lead you to victory. There's also a need for you to ground yourself. You may need to go out in nature. Also, the Akashic Records are open to you. I feel like a path is going to be presented to you. And this path leads you to victory. Yeah, you do have happy family. This could lead you to ultimate fulfillment. That card always reminds me of the Ten of Cups. This could lead you to what you've been trying to manifest. I feel like there's a shortcut that's coming towards you. All right. What's coming towards Libra today? I told you, envy. <clears throat> this person did not let up. <laughs> this person is not letting up. I'm feeling like somebody could possibly have a crush on you. Because they keep coming up with this, this love. Or maybe a person could be envying your relationship or something like that. Yeah, it's this caring connection. And you got 41 and 14. This caring connection that you do have. A person could be thinking about it. I don't know why this person is thinking about it. I don't know why it's rubbing someone the wrong way. Tell me more about envy. Why is this? Oh, that's a person expressing it. Somebody is expressing their, their envy for you. This has a lot to do with this door to value. This has a lot to do with this victory that you're running, that you're doing. This could have a lot to do with um, career, finances, you manifesting something that's coming towards you. This has a lot to do with this door to value opening up to you. Like the doors are open. Multiple blessings. All right, what message do we have from our ancestors? Since you can see further than we can, how can you guide us on this journey? Guide us on the journey, the fourth chakra, the heart chakra here, Archangel Raphael. There's some type of storm warning. I feel like the ancestors could be telling you, beware of a person. Um, check in with your heart. You know your heart tells you. So if you start feeling like weird or you may have a moment where you're like stomach drops or something like that, um, be mindful. Be mindful of it. Um, there's so many doors that's opening towards you. 
And this is coming up as like divine timing. <clears throat> but be mindful of this envy that's surrounding. It's close to. It's surrounding you. Um, so I'm going to leave your reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.